here that is set up for really tight turns through trees. designed back in the late mid mid to late 70s by a guy I think his name was Sarver his last name and he had a ski called the Sarver he had a ski called the Lynx which these Lynx. are uh -huh. these off. are the Lynx yep and uh <laughs> lift that up and they got into it with the Lynx golf club companies for naming rights so then he came up with Scorpion and the ski shop that I worked for in Sun Valley, Idaho, rented them. A couple of Hungarian brothers, Nick and Ed Yerke. Huh. And they rented them out of the ski shop, so we started skiing those in the tight trees in Sun Valley. And back then, we were all skiing 215 Super Gs. Women were on 200s in the moguls. Wow. And you couldn't take those skis in the tight trees. Yeah. So as an employee, I always took them out. And then I started skiing moguls in them and that's a great training yeah ski. they're perfect for that um but i've been looking online they named a ski run out in sun valley scorpion after these uh -huh. they have the scorpion nationals in the spring where a bunch of guys get on them and race down the hill and then at the bottom you're supposed to run across the street and chug a beer <laughs> but you're ruining the skis and they're really hard to find they came out before snow blades they have a little bit of a turned up tail but not as much or dramatically as a snow blade uh-huh so when you're in stuff like this, you can squat in that. So you can fall that back. It has an yeah. edge and it stops you. It's so you can like fall break. back. You can lean Whereas back. Whereas trying that on a snow blade, you're going to fall on your ass. I see. Because it, it's turned up like a twin tip. And snow blades are more center mounted. So that's more like ice skating or rollerblading. Where this is tr a true ski. It has some reverse camber. Uh, it's got a pintail on the back. It gets a little wider in the tip. And these scorpions were made in Japan. These links, I don't know where they're made out. You could see that the, the quality wasn't great because it's falling apart. I think yeah. it was epoxy sidewall. It's uh -huh. all chipped up. Um, but then the real scorpions are very heavy. They're black. And, uh, and I've got a bunch of pairs of those. They're just really getting hard to find. On are eBay. they still in production? No. 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 So it's just kind of a vintage oddity. There's one oddity. called the Bee Stinger. Uh -huh. B-S-T-I-N-G-E-R. Uh, that was made by, I think, Elon, and that's more like a fiberglass. Yes, version. speaking of Elon, when I saw you come out on the slope, I thought you got the folding Elons. They just came out with folding Elons that you can take oh, on the back, yeah, of, on on the back of a motorcycle. Right, yeah. right. And, and Kesley <laughs> came out with a short one. We ordered them, but we didn't order enough, so we couldn't get them imported. But I think that's 109 centimeters, and it's set up similar to this. You're mounted, usually you want to be seven inches from the tail to mm -hmm. your heel point. Mm -hmm. That's where you mount these skis. So it's nice to have adjustable toe and heel rental bindings on them so you can get different people inside the ski. Do you, ski on, awesome. any, do you ski on anything else? Yeah, I ski on uh, 188s and 184s are my normal, like a uh, Fisher Ranger 102, the free ride. I've got a 98 Ti. So how, I got a ton. I got probably got a hundred pairs of old straight stuff that I wow. sell online. I've got a website. It's called longskistruck.com. Okay, I'll I'll put it in yeah, there. Yeah, and I haven't added stuff to it in a couple of years, but I've got a ton of uh, inventory. Okay. That I could that I could put online. Let's shift gears for a moment. I I'm a psychologist, so. This whole thing I refer to as a ski lift shrink. So at some point I gotta ask you a non-skiing question. It has to be existential in vector. But there's a connection to skiing. What's it all about for you? So you've been skiing all your life, it sounds Since like. I was three, so that's my 59th season. Yeah, so what's it about for you? Skiing. I think the freedom. Freedom. It's kind of like when you were 16 and you got the keys to the car. That uh -huh. gave you freedom to go It's your you first want. car, huh? And, <laughs> and with skiing, like you see little kids, they have freedom to go where they want. Yeah on the hill and uh i think that's what it's about the freedom of navigation huh? yeah freedom i like that camaraderie and brian i think you're yeah brian. right i, I caught right. your name so yeah. this was your first experience on first experience today. on these uh first experience back skiing in a long time um 
I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying it. I certainly it. am, yeah. And I'm feeling I mean, the burn. Seem... Mike's helping me out. Yeah. He's a he's a good instructor. Yeah. Which I, I need a lot of instruction. It's so. a good day for them, right? It's it's very mogly here today on Laurel. Moguls are great in these, especially at Killington. Yeah. Spring moguls. They shine.